What is up, y'all, and welcome back to Queen to Share with all the channel. Y'all know we talk about fashion, beauty, and life. And y'all, today I'm here with another cooking video. I did switch up the menu a little bit. Um, we were supposed to have like um chicken strips and fries today, but I decided to do like a checkers loaded uh french fry. So I'm gonna bring it to y'all. Uh again, I know some of y'all love when I cook even though it's simple stuff or whatever. But um, that's what we're doing here today. Before we get into the video, make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And never forget to tell a friend and tell a friend about Queen and Share because y'all know how we do on the channel. Y'all know I'm always drawing a blank. Um, But yeah, I've already like cut the fat off of the chicken as much as we won't cut off. And now I'm going to cut the chicken into like little strips, which you sure you don't want cubes, honey? You want strips? I want no baby. I'm thinking cubes, but I'm thinking strips. Probably I'm gonna say strips. It'll be okay. I'm gonna say strips. Um, but we're gonna do a loaded checkers fries. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I got the chicken already here. Like I said, I cut the fat off. I am going to let y'all see me cleaning the chicken in this video because it's not a really long video. And some people may not know how to clean chicken or, you know, whatever, whatever. You do it really however you want to do it. But I'll just show y'all the way I do it. So, we already have the chicken here on the cutting board from where I cut the fat off that we didn't want. I got my bowl here. So, I'm going to cut it up. And I think I'm going to cut it in the strips, but I might cut it in, I think I'm going to cut it in the strips. And yes, we're using thighs, not chicken breasts, but of course you can use breasts if you don't eat dark meat. We love uh, chicken thighs, so I decided to go with a thigh. And I'm just going to cut uh, probably strips. It'll be okay. Um, And then... So like this, I don't think that's bad. And then I'm gonna clean it once I get all of the um, chicken cut. Okay, so that's just what we're doing. I probably will play y'all some music on this part right here, just because I'm literally cutting chicken. Okay, y'all, so now we are back, and as you can tell, I have the bowl of chicken uh, cut up, and I just got some water um, off of the refrigerator. Not a whole lot of water, but um, I am going to pour some water in there. I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot. Um, and then I have uh, the apple cider vinegar with the mother. Um shake this up well because y'all know when you see all the little stuff is at the bottom i just kind of eyeball this and put a little bit in there on the chicken not a whole lot oh uh, you also could use um actual lemons i have lemon juice i don't have any more uh, fresh lemon so lemon juice will be okay oh this is new i haven't even opened this one Okay, so we're going to put some of that in the water. Again, not a whole, whole lot. Enough to do the job. And y'all, what I do, um, I normally let this sit for a little second. Not like a whole... I don't let it sit for like a day or nothing like that. But I let it sit for maybe like 5, 10 minutes, somewhere in there. And then I just kind of juice it around and then rinse the chicken off. And that's good for me. If y'all do it another way, then to each his own. But this is the way I do mine. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to let this sit for a little second just to let the vinegar and the lemon kind of work. Then I'm going to kind of massage the chicken, rinse it off, and then uh, season it up. And then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so we are back. Um, I did let my chicken sit, and I, you know, massaged it, whatever. And I uh, squeezed out as much water as possible, because y'all know chicken has a lot of water in it. 
Uh, so now we're going to season it. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of nor. And y'all know, and this is chicken flavor. So y'all know that I love um, my nor. We're going to go with some black pepper. And of course, our onion powder. Garlic powder. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of season all because y'all know this can get real salty. So you gotta be careful with that. And then cornstarch. Or I think it's cornstarch to make it crispy. I learned that on TikTok, y'all. Cause I, I never really done that. Um, but I'm gonna put this on there. I wonder should baby mix this. You, you should probably should mix this with the flour. We're going to have baby mix some of this with the flour. Because it make it crispier. I learned it on TikTok. Where is the flour? Oh, one second. I'm going to lift this out. Okay, so I have the flour. And I'm just gonna mix some in the actual flour. Cause we haven't used this since we did those pork chops there one time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mix some of that. With the flour. You think so? Mm -hmm. It'll be okay because it's, it's going to mix well. So we're just going to mix that all up. I might put a little bit on the chicken, baby. Okay? Mm -hmm. Baby said put a little bit on the chicken, so. Just a little bit. Y'all know flour is bacon products are so irking. Okay, so that's all we're going to do uh, with the chicken. I am going to uh, mix this up, I guess now, so it won't just sit in one place. So just massage it in. Um, baby is heating up the grease. I'm gonna take y'all outside because we fry on our porch. We do not fry in the house. So I'm gonna take y'all outside and show y'all a little bit of baby frying. And we do have our deep fryer outside on like a table. Uh, we got plugs on the outside of our house, like all the way around. So that's really, really um, good because we can plug up stuff anywhere around the house, outside and inside. So that's the chicken all seasoned. Let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we are back and I'm just putting the uh, seasoning up and I'm gonna show y'all uh, like what we're gonna put on the actual uh, fries and stuff. It's Cause I got all the condiments and whatever we're gonna put. Um, the chicken is just sitting, the grease is getting hot. Uh, we're going to put some uh, shredded Velveeta. This is like one of my favorite. I don't know if this is real cheese or not, y'all. I've been hearing so much stuff about stuff I've been eating for years. So, honey, I don't know if this is real cheese or not. But I like uh, Velveeta um, cheese. We're going to put some ranch. Um, bacon bits. And, y'all, these are like the real bacon pieces. So, they're not like... The hard imitation kind. Y'all, these are inexpensive. So, get these. Um, I'm going to put this sauce on it as well. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all this up close. Y'all need to try this. This is so good. And I know it says Chipotle, but it only has like a little bit of spice. It does not have a lot because I do not eat hot food. So, I can't, you know, I can't do it. I think I'm going to put a little bit of ketchup on mine, just a little bit. Because I like ketchup and ranch mix. 
But then again, I might not because I got this, but I don't know, so it's, it's an option. Um, baby is gonna get jalapenos if he wants these. And y'all, these are the fries. Uh, we're using the checkers fries. Or y'all might have rallies, because I think checkers and rallies is like one company. But uh, we're using the checkers rally fries. These are like my favorite um, fries because you really don't need no ketchup or nothing because they're already seasoned and they got a good flavor. But we're doing loaded. So that's why we got our seasoning. Oh, no, I mean, not seasoning. Our sauces. So that's really it. Like this dinner is super simple. But I still wanted to bring it to y'all because, y'all, I'm trying to get in the habit of literally posting more content and staying, like, you know, super active on the channel. And I know y'all know this honey I got on the wig today because your girl um, is picked out some looks. I have, like, ten looks. So, there's two videos that I do have coming to y'all. I know y'all love when I put the looks together, honey, and, you know, bring y'all the styles. So I'm definitely not giving up on that. But I'm just getting in the habit of like recording a lot of things like I do um, to post like more content about life stuff and whatever like that. Um, so I do have some like stuff planned. I plan to vlog like over the um, holidays like with my family. I don't know about baby's family because they're a little bit different from my family. So I don't really know if they'll want to be on camera, but my family don't care. Um, so I got stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'm a vlog of me rapping or me and baby rapping gifts, which we all know I'm going to be the one rapping, but I don't know um, if we're going to vlog it or not, or if we just going to do like when we open the gifts on Christmas or whatever. So I don't know which one we're going to do, but y'all, that's just a little bit of what I have planned for the channel. Um, and I got some other things in store, but I don't want to like prematurely say because if the plan don't go the way i planned it i don't want y'all you know to feel like oh my gosh you never posted xyz but y'all that's just a little bit a little small channel update i will be back with y'all when baby say the grease is hot and he is about to put the um chicken in the deep fryer outside Okay, y'all, so we outside, and baby is about to put the first batch in the grease. Make sure you got to get the flour up good. So baby said flour it up good? Mm-hmm. Good system, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Flour good, good crust. And baby does test the flour before we actually put anything in it. He puts a little bit of flour in the grease, and once it starts to fry that little piece, he knows the grease is ready. Mm -hmm. So you only gonna have two batches, right? Yes. Okay. Baby is also going to go ahead and deep fry the fries. I was going to put the fries in the air fryer, but it may be quicker for him just to drop them in the grease after the chicken. So, we'll be outside with the fries. Is that it, boo? Yes, ma'am. We're going to go and drop this in here. Up. Hope y'all enjoy watching this sizzle. <laughs> yeah. Let me get close. Yeah, hey, look at them. All see right. It, it's good fresh uh, grease yes. too, y'all, that we got the other day in the weekly grocery haul because you had to change your grease after so. We do what, two or three, how many fries? Three or four? We do three, or? We do three on chicken or two on fish. Okay, so we do three fries on chicken and we do two fries on fish grease. Yes. So. She is bubbling, you know it's good or hot. Yes, sir. It's nice and crispy. And y'all can see one of our grills. Baby uses that grill the most. That grill used to be red. And honey, baby didn't grill the paint off of that. We have another grill as well, but baby uses this one uh, most times. That one grill better than that one. Okay, so y'all heard, baby. So we'll be back when this batch is done. And then we'll show y'all um, the fries because the chicken going to be the same. So we'll show y'all the fries when they are ready. 
Okay, y'all, so the first batch is done. I know y'all can see the chicken just floating. That's, um, that's a good one to know when you find that whatever you find is done. The grease will be, in disregard the cars, y'all, we outside. Um, but that's a good way to know whatever you find is done. The grease will get quieter and then of course it will flow uh, in the grease. And then we just put it on a, a rack. In this regard, our rack, y'all don't fit in that pan, but we still like to uh, do this versus putting it like on a paper towel. Cause uh, when you put it on the rack, it remains like crunchy. Instead of like the paper towel soaking up and kind of making it soggy a little bit. So this is just basic cooking, like I told y'all. Um, and then we'll be back when baby is doing the fries. He got one more batch of um, chicken, and then we're going to move on to the fries, and then we'll be back. It's that nice and, so what? It's that nice and crispy look. Y'all see, baby, he's showing y'all how crispy it is. Let's take my work. <laughs> So we'll be back, y'all. Okay, so now we're back. Baby about to do the fries. The fries will only be one batch. So you can go ahead whenever you're ready to move. Just like that. Sizzling. Cook them well. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, these are the fries. And we just put these in like a little colander. But y'all know what chicken fries look like. Um, And then I'll show y'all the chicken. So that's it. I'm about to build it up and I'll be right back when baby is tasting it. Okay, y'all. So baby is here. Let me show y'all everything up close. It looks so good, y'all. And baby decided he did not want jalapenos. So I did not put them. Go ahead, babe. Y'all see baby so bougie. He wanted a fork. <laughs> Taking no fries. It's because you're trying to be so bougie. <laughs> so what you think, boo? Hmm. Two dollars up on this. Okay, so y'all know if baby do two thumbs up, that means he really like it. It looks really good. And y'all, in my mind... Okay, y'all, so in my mind, I had the Zaxby's loaded fries in my head. But I said, well, we have checkers fries at the house, so we should just do a checkers loaded fries. And I think checkers do have a loaded fries on their menu. So, y'all, that is our little version. Again, if you do want to use a different type of chicken or if you want to use, like, chicken breast or something like that, then, of course, do your thing. We personally like thighs, so that's why we went with thighs. Um, but, yeah, y'all, that is it. Oh, just so y'all know, I give y'all options, right? Y'all know y'all could get, like, those little already cooked, um, breaded popcorn chickens. Um, they should sell those in most grocery stores. They already like fried or whatever, but I wanted to use, you know, raw chicken. But that is an option if you wanted a totally easy dinner without all, you know, the cleanup from the chicken or whatever. But we're going to go ahead and close this video out. Make sure y'all do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about Queen and Shell, honey, because y'all know how we do on the channel. And y'all already know what it is, honey. We are out.